So my towel's at the Nachi Temple in Macau. There's a really interesting class of cultures going on here of at least five different uh, demographics coming together. Now, me as a foreigner, uh, Nachi Temple, that's what's exotic and foreign to me. But as you see, I'm the only person here. Now, just panning around, we have the old city walls of Macau. Now, as a history buff, this is what's foreign and exotic to me. You know, really interesting, but as you see, there's construction going on. But again, I'm the only person here. I mean, those two, you know, those two locations just by themselves, so close together, you know, and I just noticed something down over here. So I'm going to take a short, small shortcut. This over here, the actual old city walls of Macau that I can touch. But again, I'm the only one here. Those two things together should be enough of a tourist attraction that they're, this place would be absolutely crowded. But that's not what's attractive to the vast majority of the people here. What, for them, what's foreign and exotic is anything out of the West. Now, the third thing here that's really put, packed in close together is the ruins of St. Paul. This is, you know, the iconic landmark of Macau that uh, everyone comes to for a tourist, to, you know, for the selfie opportunity. And uh, very iconic and historic. This is, you know, sort of the, um, if there's one picture that could sum up what Macau is, it's the ruins of St. Paul. It's where everyone comes to. And you see, not even 100 meters distance, we're absolutely crowded with tourists now. Everyone wants to come to this one spot to see the ruins of St. Paul. Now, for me, ruins of St. Paul, not really interesting, especially me growing up Catholic. I mean, I've seen more than my fair share of churches before, seen more than my fair share of ruins going up in rural Missouri. This isn't that particularly interesting to me, even as iconic as it may be. You know, the previous two, the temple and the old city walls were much more interesting to me, but I'm the minority in that place. Um, what's really fascinating to me now as we're getting along into the third point the tourist attraction itself becomes the attraction. Just throngs of people crowded in here, all jammed together and everyone wanting to come to this one spot. But again, there's a clash of cultures going on that if I can get this in one continuous shot and continue to run my mouth so that I am filling time, comes down here off the thoroughfare we are now at the very bottom of the steps. Yeah, again, facade off to the left, you see modern architecture. But then panning off just a bit to the right, if I can get the angle on this right, there is the jam-packed you know, uh, apartment districts that you can see of uh, laundry hanging on the balconies and people crammed in together and as we come further down you know as the ruins of saint paul continue to fade out into the background we're getting down into the narrower pedestrian streets that really tip you know exemplifies macau and hong kong of how densely populated people is you know that it is completely crowded together and we're really packed in. So this leads down into, you know, another clash of cultures that everyone is just jammed packed together. And we're coming down into a sort of market district sort of location. Okay. Where shops are packed in together and we're almost in a concrete canyon kind of situation where the two buildings on either side rise up together 
and we're now deep down as it continues to get more and more crowded as people pass down through this narrow alleyway that anyone coming into or out of the ruins of St. Paul has to pass through this sort of merchant area. And the inflow of people is just really, really densely packed in this area. And the shops, um, Macau has been used before in um, you know, movies and television uh, of places that they want to show where there's very dense urban population. So again, we started out in a place that is foreign and exotic to me, but normal to everyone that would be surrounding me. Stepping out into the ruins of St. Paul, we had a place that was normal for me, but foreign and exotic for everyone else. But now here, uh, it's almost something like uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, where uh, you know he went to the the Obi Wan Club at the beginning of the movie, and the densely packed streets and narrow alleyways that they had were filmed in Macau. So again, for everyone around me, for these throngs of people, this is normal, everyday life. But for me, this is what's foreign and exotic. And now, ruins of St. Paul completely disappeared in the background. <laughs>